Hello everyone, I'm Renown Zero, and today we're going to be talking about apparently Eric July today in a live stream compared himself to Jesus according to detractors because this is how far we've gone. We're at the point where people are just grasping at straws and bringing up also that he says he compared himself to Israel. Again, no one cares. At least I don't care about what's going on over there. It's not my business. I don't live there. I don't give a crap. But I also got my haters constantly talking noise, constantly saying nonsense because they think I just can't monetize them. They think I'm not monetizing them. And of course, today, as always, I'm going to be monetizing them because that's what I do. I monetize my haters all the time. And they think I'm not monetizing them. But I'll just continue to monetize them. Let them think whatever they want. It is what it is. Starting here, of course, with Alpha Core. This is the campaign, actually. We're going to head over to the store and see here. You can get your Braxwell shirts, the newest piece of merchandise that you can buy from the Ripperverse, as well as the Alpha Core book. I saw them too. You can also get some other Alpha Core merch. You can also get some other I saw one and I saw two merch. You'll get in where you fit in. We have Blade Devil 2 Chains of Blood from Raging Golden Eagle and Toxic Man Baby. Of course, links to all of this stuff will be linked below in the description of this video. You can see here, if you like this type of manga slash anime style type of artwork, I highly recommend it. I love Blade Devil 1. Cannot wait to read Blade Devil 2 with two with two supplemental stories as well as 69 pages of the main story here. So you get four, you can choose from four different covers. Cover A here, cover B here, cover C here, and cover D for me would be the limited summer wraparound cover. So like I said, I got all four covers. I've said this plenty of times. I back independent comic books. I back stuff that I actually like. And when I typically like the first book, I'll get in on the second book. I've gotten on plenty of second issues of indie comics. And you got all these people that like to talk about how everyone else is broke. Meanwhile, they're sitting up here complaining about $35 for a 96-page graphic novel. And none of these people could ever show me that they've ever paid more money for independent comics than me. And until that happens, I don't really care about what they have to say about anything. Because they don't actually care about any of this. They just care that... Uh, Black man has success. As much as I don't like to bring up the race of Eric July, I'm sorry. It seems to be the only thing y'all are hounding on is a black man having success and being more successful than every other indie project out there selling better than all graphic novels have been selling for the past five, six years now. And I showed this in the video, I believe, two days ago. So I don't need to say many, much more. You can get it on Blade Double One. Covers A, B, and C are available for just 10 bucks. Black Rhapsody, currently doing fulfillment. You can get in on this before it does close up. This is the most recent campaign that I've backed. 740 bucks out of 1,000. It's very close to the goal. Got 26 backers, 9 days to go. I believe this book is about 95% done. It seems to be inspired by things like My Hero Academia, One Punch Man, and things of that nature. Get the artwork here. Scroll down. See some of it here. There's multiple covers you can choose from. I believe this cover A here, cover B. I went with cover C. I like that one the best. I might actually pick a cover B. We'll see how that goes. Now, we have Katie once again claiming to be a mother and wife. By the way, you are not a content creator. Your content consists of taking clips and just reposting them on your channel with no commentary, no transformative anything. And you think you're a content creator because you drama farm. That'll only last but so long until people stop watching. There's certain creators that you hang around that their numbers have completely dipped. And you're still doing exactly what they're doing. Well, let's get into this clip that you have put up here, right? Where you say... Oh my god, Eric, you just can't help yourself, can you? We aren't mad. We're actually having fun. Also, last I checked, anytime someone questions your comic books, your bandwagon of idiots attack them, not the other way around. <clears throat> that doesn't really happen. I'm sorry. We just defend. We don't attack. Y'all are the ones that attack people for simply liking something that you don't like. We don't go around caring about you liking whatever books you like, which I can tell, you don't back anything. You claim to, right? 
Lastly, you're not Jesus, hun. Jesus never lies like you do. Oh my god, this dude. Let's listen to the clip. <clears throat> Hell the Lord, I see you in the chat. Appreciate you. He has given some reviews. I know he talked about it. There's a certain creator who included it in his live stream and cried about Hail the Lord giving great reviews, glowing reviews to Eric's Lies Ripperverse comics. As many people wanted to say that he was praising Eric's stuff before he even bought it, which never happened. Um, I'm probably the most hated Ripperverse comics review on Twitter. The weirdos uh, hate my thoughts and the fact that uh, Eric shares them. Yeah, I mean, look, that, that's to be expected. We already know. Uh, anybody that's covered the Riververse knows that um, there are people. Everything was always a projection. The criticism, we all knew that, that was, it's still a lie. Is it going to stop people from repeating it? No, this is why it's not no point in No, these people are never going to stop regurgitating the same talking points. So we're going to see them in some of the tweets in just a little bit. And even trying to, to combat someone that, you know, just repeats the, 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 the constant lie. But it's a projection at the end of the day. Um, what, what happens is, is that the Ripperverse, people actually liking the Ripperverse makes some people mad, and it shouldn't be that way. For you, KD, to sit up here and lie that people aren't mad, people come into my comments daily because I like Ripperverse, and they constantly say, oh, it's bad, it's this, it's that, and all I tell them is, you're allowed to have your opinion, no one cares. That's it, that's the end of it. And they'll go on and on and just continue to say the same thing over and over again. But nobody's mad. I've got plenty of proof that people are pretty mad that other people like something they don't like. They act as if you're not allowed to like Ripperverse comics. You're not allowed to like anything that Ripper's company produces. Even though loads of people do, including people like Mark Millar, who said it was a good step in the right direction in world building. And it was funny that people wanted to act as if... Richard C. Meyer's opinion was so terrible when I pointed out that they were not attacking the fact that Mark Millar liked ISOM. They, they shifted the goalpost to, to more Richard C. Meyer. But I digress. Let's continue. Um, I've said a million times, uh, we can handle that. and We've long handled that, that there are people out there that are not going to like something that the Riververse puts out. Uh, that's to be anticipated. You don't definitely when you, when you see success, right? Nothing is... Nobody's Jesus, right? And even they hated them. So it's, there's nobody out there that is just going to be unanimous, unanimously like liked or something is going to be unanimous. So what Eric was trying to say was that people liked Jesus, but then at the same time, there were also people that didn't like Jesus just for existing. That's not him comparing himself to Jesus, you absolute moron. Stop interpreting or misinterpreting what someone's saying. You should probably listen and open your ears before you start spewing out of garbage opinions that don't even matter. Because you're, in this case, you saying that this is what this person is doing and you spit this out like it's a fact. It's not a fact. He doesn't literally go, I am just like Jesus. He doesn't say those words. That's not him making a comparison. He's just simply saying that even the most respected person that should have been respected during his time had people that hated him even though he wasn't doing anything to them simply what he's doing is creating comics and creating a universe while everyone on the other side of the cg fence sits up here and hates on him constantly just for existing liked we can accept however that there are people that don't like it the coping uh area is that there are folks out there that cannot deal with the fact that there are people out there that genuinely like what it is that we're doing and enjoy the work that we're putting in out enjoy the stories it is that we're we're putting out there um and some people that makes folks irate and uh, if you don't think that that's the case all you got to do is talk po speak positively about the riververse and it will inevitably inevitably this happens every single day every time i speak positively about the riververse i always have people in my comments on youtube and all i do is just laugh at them Tell them it's okay, you can have that opinion, and if they get a little bit too aggressive, I'll just monetize them. B, uh, people that are, you know, perpetually online uh, all the time that are just mad, just angry, like, how dare you? Like, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, they get really mad. So it was always a projection. That's all it ever, ever was. So um, 
But it's all good. Secretly, I, I think a lot of them are fans. And, um, you know, should they decide that they want to uh, drop the facade, right? We'll be here. We're not going. We're not going anywhere. So if you don't like us, you can still buy our books. Uh, Which is funny that people that don't like Eric actually do buy his, buy his books. They're, they're basically feeding <laughs> feeding his company money. <laughs> so, to which I responded to Katie by saying, he compared himself to Jesus. You're literally retarded. You ship Shishomaru and Rin. These are characters from a, an anime called Inuyasha. One is an adult, and Rin is a minor, which I actually say. Rin is a minor, by the way. And you ship these two people. You ship a fully grown adult character with a minor character. An actual minor character in the show. So don't sit up here and act as if you're you're all high and mighty and you're you're all special. You're not special. Being a, a quote unquote mother and wife, you don't act as if you're any of those things. You act like a bitter bitch all the time. Sorry to tell you. Moving on. This person, of course, says I got ratioed, which they spoke a little too soon on that, considering that I got more likes than you on this, which is originally that you put out this terrible, terrible meme of a bunch of people that are well-liked. This person hasn't even been around, and you managed to include them. Every single person in this picture are more liked than you. You could have more followers than me, and yet I still get more engagement than you. you. What does that tell you? You got a whole bunch of bot accounts that you need to clean up rather than hating on motherfuckers all the time. You need to get your life together and stop being a bitch. I said, I got more engagement with you. I appreciate your concern trolling, but I'll monetize our interaction while you cry more about a black man being successful in the comic business because that's all you're doing. I did say stuff also about the, the false DMCAs, and then this person says, what's this? I was like, well, Vickiverse linked to a pirating website, which is against TOS on Twitter. That's against TOS on Twitter. Sorry, doesn't work. I also responded by saying, watch retarded haters lie about Eric to lie, comparing yourself to Jesus, something that literally never happened. This is why no one should take you serious. You meme like a leftist. You can't meme. You absolutely can't meme. Which I'm going to show you. It says right here. This was the, the tweet that he put out. That says he. And then after this he says he ratioed me. Which like I showed you. 24 likes. At the time when he put it up. I had I think 17. And now I have 27. And you still have 24. Because no one actually cares what you have to say. You're a literal nobody. Now this tweet comes from. A tweet I put out from Compulsion Games. That was saying they're not a serious company. When they put out a. An opinion and then they don't want that smoke when they lock replies and this person says you're not a serious creator when you block everyone who's at least bit negative to you like Eric July does I don't block everyone if I want to monetize you I'll give you the game I mute you and then I monetize you and I say I block retarded people who make false claims and no proof I don't got the time nor the patience to deal with fake people I point laugh monetize and move on you should be the last person talking about Sirius with an account dedicated to hating Eric and his company, especially his wife. You're gutter trash. Because you are. You're absolute trash. All your problems are with Eric July, not his wife. That's how I can tell you don't get pussy. I'm sorry. I'm just going to say it straight up. You don't get no, you don't get any. Because if that's what your game plan is, is to meme on someone's wife. Clearly, you clearly no, no woman's touching you. I'm sorry. Even J. Bama, even J. Bama told you not to do that. And that's a guy who says we want to like you, Eric. But at the very least, he'll tell you that family's off limits when you're trying to troll someone else. This was the thing he has said. Don't forget that. Not, don't forget not serious people who follow fat retarded YouTubers, Tweedledee and Tweedledum, make shit up as they go. Because they do. They literally make shit up as they go. Again, using using words you don't know the definition of. Again, this requires me to give money to someone with, for no absolute reason besides existing. 
which is how it would be used on the internet. And no, I give money to Eric July for him to give me comics, and I enjoy the product that he he gives to me for the money that I give to him. And then I keep buying more because I enjoy the universe he's creating. Simple. Here it is. Every single person who complained about getting DMCA got it because it is something illegal. Of course, we have my usual haters. I've got them all muted for the most part. To I say, my haters are some of the most retarded individuals on the planet. I'm not overweight, never lied about my false DMCA, and also there has never been a DMCA that didn't involve some more on linking to a website that has pirated material. I never told people how tall I am, yet my haters listen to Tweedledee and Tweedledum telling people I'm 5'3". I'm being called broke by the same weirdos who cried about paying $35 for a 96-page comic book, but go on, hater. Like I said, until an MFR has, you know, can't, it's supposed to be, can't prove, they spend more money in the comments than me. Shut the fuck up and grown folks are talking. Which I screenshotted it because I'm not responding to each person individually. They can all get fucked. This person still, it's clown world level retarded. You think you're monetizing me. I was like, I monetize you every time we re-interact. I'm doing it right now as a recording of this video. I'm monetizing you right now. <laughs> so, this person, do you have the pick of just being very fat recently? Yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> they clearly don't know what these words mean. I say hashtag who's Sturgis. Also, you have no legs to stand on talking about people being fat when I'm not. And you hide your face, your fruit. So... If you're going to hide your face, you really have no legs to stand on. Talking about other people's appearances. Of course, I have typical bitter bitch right here. You know, doing making his comments. He's always liking and putting out comments. And, of course, I'm going to monetize him too. Because he's also a hater of Air July. And he's a hater of myself. Simply because I like Air July. And I made fun of his. One of his customers who wanted to go around wearing Clipperverse merch. He, he simped over her. I'm sure people who watch me for a while know who I'm talking about. I made a, a meme of Which Way Westerman. I included her and the Korean model that's used for Stellar Blade. And he got really upset because of it. Meanwhile, he's married. Right? And I asked him, you need some clout, homie? Viewers drawing up on your Bitter Bitch podcast. You know, the group of like seven people that sit up there and bitch about Eric July all day. That's the best you can come over. It's so salty. I'm not part of your podcast of a podcast. And I say salty over it. What exactly? You're nobody with a book. You simped over a disgusting person because she's a customer of yours while saying you're married. And you flex like a gay boy towards me. Dude literally sent a picture of himself flexing his arms at me. like, And I'm, and I'm not supposed to believe that you're gay some, for some reason. For some odd reason, I'm not supposed to believe you're gay. So... At the end of the day, this is these are the type of people that always come into my comment sections, always talking a bunch of noise, and I'll continue to monetize them. And you have stupid people who make up nonsense as they go. As Eric makes content, they decide to hate watch and drama farm and just make clips. And, of course, take it out of context and they spread it out there like it's supposed to somehow harm his business. Meanwhile, everyone, even in her comments, we're, we're defending him. So you really can't do much. Outside of being a typical drama farmer. And like I said, it only lasts but so long until it dries up. Just like a certain person's viewers are drying up on a smaller channel who has sub mode only on. Because that's the only way you can get subs is by putting on sub only mode. And yeah, it has almost 3,000 subscribers and can barely get 100 viewers. Can barely get 50 viewers sometimes. But I digress. I think I've said all I need to say today. Thank you all for checking out this video. I really do appreciate all the new subscribers, returning subscribers, new viewers, returning viewers. If you do like the video, hit the like button, comment below if you feel about all this. Join up on the channel if you really like what I'm doing you want to support me further. It's only a dollar a month. You are never obligated to do so, but if you want to go that extra mile, that option is there for you. The join button is just below the video. And links for all the campaigns and any campaign books that I've shown today that I've backed that I feel that my audience would like. Will all be linked in below in the description. Subscribe for more content like this. Hit hit the bell for notifications. Set the bell to all. That way you'll get notification anytime I post a new video or live stream. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.